G'day mates, my name's Lim. Today I wanted to talk about why game dev tutorials suck and to just help you on your dev journey. So when I first started out on my game dev journey, I didn't really have a lot of access to tutorials. It's way more accessible now. And that's both a great and bad thing. The great thing is that more people are able to learn about how to make games, how to program, how to make art, and use those skills to create whatever is in their imagination. And that's great for everyone else because we get to experience some really awesome games which otherwise wouldn't exist. The bad thing is, is that there has been a growth in tutorials in how to make games. And I don't actually think that's a good thing. The first reason is stagnation. Watching tutorials promotes laziness. Yeah, you might think that you're learning, you might think that you're gaining skills from watching these videos and implementing what they've taught you, but you're not actually doing the hard work. You're not sitting down, you're not reading the documentation and you're not understanding how the code works and interacts with the systems you're using. What people are really doing is just they're waiting for the person who's making the video to give them the code so you can go and copy it and put it into your own project and see if it works or not which leads to a reliance on tutorials. So you rely on them to do the problem solving and thinking and debugging and the learning for you. Say you wanna implement an inventory and you're watching a tutorial on how to do that. You might be able to find a number of videos on YouTube which show you how to do it. But by looking at their tutorials and copying their code, you're really relying on these people to number one, know what they're doing and number two, provide you with something which works. It may work in their system and in their environment, but when you bring it into your engine, when you bring it into your game, it may just not work. It may not interact with your systems the way you think it does and the way it does in the tutorial, which leads to a gap in knowledge, meaning that you didn't really learn this stuff. So when you run into a problem and you're trying to implement this and it doesn't work as intended, well, you don't really know where to fix it, what's going on. You didn't make this code, so you don't really understand which brings you back to relying on the tutorial and asking that person for help. There are a lot of comments on these game dev tutorials asking for help, saying that it doesn't work. And it's just because these people can't figure out what they've done wrong in their implementation. They may have copied something incorrectly. There might be white spaces in their code which are just invisible and it's causing the code not to compile. A lot of people are just copying this code, putting it into their projects and not understanding how to debug, how to problem solve. They see the errors in the console and they might just think, ah, the code doesn't work, it's this, this guy's problem. Well, it's actually your problem because when you think about it, you're expecting this person or this tutorial to make the game or feature for you and they're not gonna be there to make your entire game. And many of these tutorials are in different parts. And sometimes, for whatever reason, people do not finish these tutorials. They don't upload the entire series, which means that you can get halfway through it and you're waiting for the final part, but they never upload it. So you're never able to actually complete the implementation. And that's because the tutorials are outdated. They're often tied to specific engine versions. And because they're not complete and you were relying on them and you have a knowledge gap, well, then you're not able to actually implement everything and then you're just stuck. You're stagnating and you can't complete your game because you are relying on that person to finish the tutorial in order to implement that feature for your game. Another thing that I've noticed is that when these people are implementing the features or whatever they're creating for the tutorial, sometimes they use good practices. Sometimes they teach correct practices and correct techniques, correct optimization. More often than not, they don't. And what happens is you're left with some code which is poorly optimized. It's got low coherency and high dependencies and it makes debugging so much harder, especially when you're just starting out and you don't understand the complexities of code and how to implement it and how to understand how to debug and problem solve the code. What all of this leads to, the stagnation, the reliance, the knowledge gap, not understanding how to optimize your code and the best practices and the outdated tutorials it all leads to a thing called tutorial hell, which is where you are just trapped waiting for tutorials to do all the work for you. And you never get to do your game. You never get to start it. You never get to finish it. You are just trapped. And that's not fun. So are tutorials bad to follow? Well, yes and no. I think they are bad if you have a reliance on them and you're relying on these people to make the feature and do the problem solving for you. I think what we should use tutorials for is we should use them to see how other people have handled the problems that we're facing and handled the features that we want to implement. And we should consider their solution, but we shouldn't take their solution because there are often many solutions to the same problem. And they often require your 
detailed knowledge of your own project in order to implement them. They might be a really good guide and they might be a really good way to figure out, oh, well, this is how I can think about it, but I don't think you should rely on them in order to create your game. The best thing that you can do to create your games is to focus on learning techniques and not solutions. Techniques are far more beneficial for you in the long run as a developer, and they will help you in so many more situations than just learning a solution to a problem. Programming is very similar to maths, but it's not the same. There are often many solutions to the same problem. Take, for example, an inventory system. There are so many solutions and techniques in making them. You know, you've got different ways of storing the data, different data structures. You have so many different ways of interacting with the user interface and the physical item in the actual game space. You've got so many different ways to access the items from your game library and create and destroy them in the game world and in the inventory. There are just so many endless possibilities and there, are, there may be good solutions to them, but it really depends on the kind of game you're making, how optimized you can make your code, and how it interacts with the other systems you've made. The other thing is that you can look at the docs. Whatever engine you're using, you can always look at the docs to help you understand how to program things, how to problem solve things. By looking at the docs, you can also find answers to what these common exceptions are and why you're receiving these errors. And by properly understanding how to interpret them, you can really understand how to implement certain features and how to use the systems in the game engine to craft solutions to your problems. Look, with all that being said, I started out learning game dev by teaching myself. When I started to shift into Unity and Unreal, I started to look at tutorials and I found that what was happening was that I wasn't progressing in my journey. I was making features, I was making small projects, which were not, they were just the tutorials, but I made them and copied them. What I found is that I didn't actually learn anything. I learned far more from making my own projects and figuring out the problems in making those projects than I ever did following a tutorial. So while I think you can look at tutorials as a way to understand how to solve problems and how people have solved the solution to your problem in a very similar manner to learn from them, I don't think you should be relying on them. But anyway guys, this is just be my thoughts and opinions on the issue. What do you guys think? Do you think that tutorials are good? How do you use them? Have you been in tutorial hell? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you've gotten out of tutorial hell if you were ever in it. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, let me know. If you disliked it, let me know. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.